Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here on Homestead Day number 48 at Freedom Ranch. And today I want to talk about a subject that's very important to people who are interested in living more free, whether it's by homesteading or not, and especially relevant in light of today's news, that WhatsApp just enabled end-to-end -end encryption for all users as the default setting for all communications. Yay! Good reasons, bad reasons, we're gonna get into why, but first I wanna put this in the context of my strategy of ensuring that my communications are secure and when I don't, because it's usually very difficult, what my approach is, which is to have nothing to hide. And when you do have something to hide, I suppose that's when it gets tricky, because when you're talking about encrypting all of your communications, that's not a realistic possibility. So when I say there are two ways for me, what I'm talking about are one, going analog and two end-to-end -end encryption but in order for those to work going analog it means you have to ensure the immediate security of that conversation you know put your cell phones in the car or where the microphones can't pick up your voices and where there's no electronics around and no surveillance cameras or no security cameras and that's fine because then you're having a face-to-face -face conversation and you can be reasonably assured unless there's some government agent in the bushes like a mile away with one of those you know pointer snooper microphones that your communication is pretty secure or if you write down a note and pass it securely you can be reasonably assured or if you can be reasonably assured that it's going to be delivered securely that that is going to be secure communication and then end-to-end -end encryption now it sounds great sounds relatively easy i mean hey there's an app for that now right you can do whatsapp and have all of your communication encrypted. The problem with this is in order for that end-to-end -end encryption to be foolproof, to actually be secure, the device upon which those messages are being handled has to be secure. So just to start from a, a kind of crude way of explaining this, if you're using all the best encryption in the world and you're looking and, and reading your messages on your phone and you're in public and someone's looking over your shoulder, bam, there goes your, the value of your encryption, right? Similarly, if your device, if it's a smartphone or a laptop or whatever, is hooked up to the internet, it's really hard to be 100% secure and 100% and sure. And now I know there are going to be experts who are saying, Adam, you're wrong. It's not that hard. Go watch my you know, one-hour video about how to ensure per blah, 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 and use the Tor network. And, and I support all of that. I think it's valuable for people to strive for that. But really... In, in the age of government surveillance with one point something million government contractors with security clearances, I don't think that's a reasonable possibility. So for me, when I say end-to-end -end encryption, you can get most of the way there with PGP, pretty good privacy. You can, you know, encode your emails, you can use Hushmail, but really to be secure, you know, you have to have a device that's not connected to the internet, that's handling that message and the encryption, putting it on a thumb drive or some other medium encrypted and then putting it on the computer that's transmitting it and then the same thing at the other end. Now, like I said, I know there's some, now if you wanna leave in the comments and tell me how wrong I am about security and that there's lots of great ways, fine, but for my peace of mind and for what makes sense, for my strategy, for the most efficient way to communicate securely as I want to be able to, this is my approach. So, now, this announcement today with WhatsApp is probably because of the increased demand for encryption and privacy in the light of the recent debate about iPhone hacking of terrorists' phones and whether the FBI had a right to get into them and if Apple could cooperate or not, what would happen to them. And, you know, this is a big announcement that WhatsApp said on their blog today. They've enabled universal end-to-end -end encryption. So, I'll start with the good reason that this could be. That we can take, we can claim victory for that we have so woken people up, those of us who care about freedom, and, and maybe just, you know, even the effect of the mainstream media covering the surveillance state spiraling out of control. But one way or another, enough people have changed their minds about privacy and, and in order to create this increased market demand. So when we render government obsolete with technology, we don't have to vote at the ballot box. We get to vote with the dollar. And in a sense, we should be celebrating this like any election night victory. This is an economic victory. And those are the ones that are peaceful that supersede all of the political victories. So in a sense, that's the good reason, but there's more to it than that. So WhatsApp blog says this. WhatsApp has always prioritized making your data and communication as secure as possible, and today we're proud to announce that we've completed a technological development that makes WhatsApp a leader in protecting your private communication, full end-to-end -end encryption. From now on, when you and your contacts use the latest version of the app, every call you make 
and every message, photo, video, file, and voice message you send is end-to-end -end encrypted by default, including group chats. The idea is simple. When you send a message, the only person who can read it is the person or group chat that you send that message to. No one can see inside that message. Not criminals, not hackers, not oppressive regimes, not even us. Now, I, I believe, since they're staking their business reputation on this, that they won't be accessing those communications. And that's, that's nice in and of itself. And I love how they say, not even oppressive regimes. We're not saying that the American government is an oppressive regime. We're just inviting them not to be one. And uh, that goes on. End-to-end <clears throat> -end encryption helps make communication via WhatsApp private, sort of like a face-to-face -face conversation. The operative part of that sentence being sort of. Because, first of all, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. And we know that Facebook has trust issues and data mining issues and, well... I don't know if I would trust any corporation that's become that big of an extension of the government communications cartels. So I have a hard time believing this 100% at face value, but it is still a nice product. And, and my, my cynical reason for why they made this announcement is that they're responding to this market demand by selling snake oil false reassurance that digital communications can be perfectly secure without the effort of securing your devices or going analog. And I just installed WhatsApp today. <clears throat> you know, I, I still love the idea of not depending on wireless carriers for those kinds of communications that you can use Wi-Fi instead. And, you know, I, even if uh, my cynical reason is the right one, I, I still appreciate weakening that other part of the government cartel's ability to squeeze a little more money out of me um, for, for text messages and other communications fees. So that's nice. And their business model kind of exists only because of a loophole in the sense that, you know, these major telecommunications providers are, are you know, when they're talking about charging you for different amounts of text messages, they're not, you know, providing any extra service besides access to their network. They're just finding an extra way to squeeze a little more money out of you. So, you know, good for WhatsApp for weakening that particular market exploitation. And it's hard to beat their offer of, you know, a year free trial plus $1 per year after that. And I think really this is getting closer to the future of where we're going with communications, more, uh, you know, ability to encrypt and ensure privacy, to get communications the way that, that we find most efficiently without the influence of the cartels. And, you know, I, 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 regardless of what nefarious motivations may be behind this, I do want to extend a congratulations to, to WhatsApp for making this step and for everybody who increased the market demand for privacy by raising attention to these issues. So regardless of, of what happens with WhatsApp and, and what you choose to do with your communications privacy strategy, as long as people support the existence of a government that can violate the property rights of you from which your privacy rights stem, we're going to have to worry about encryption and evading this kind of really sick, sadistic, authoritarian personality disorder kind of control by people who weren't loved enough as children. And that's really what we're up against. But humanity is evolving past this. And, uh, and you know, when we truly eliminate government that is to govern that institution which uses violence and coercion to control other human beings in violation of every standard of ethics that humanity has ever devised, until then, we won't have real security. We won't really have true privacy in the sense of being able to do what we have a right to do without being spied on. So for those of you who, uh, who appreciate this message, thank you for watching. Please share this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, but more importantly, read the book, read Freedom, help spread the message and wake people up. We will, complete, we will keep increasing the market demand for services that render government obsolete. Just like we're doing here with our efforts at Freedom Ranch, if you want to be a part of this, help uh, build a homestead, build some off-grid houses, and do all the fun, exciting things that you've seen in the rest of our homestead video series, please send me an email, adam at thefreedomline.com. And thanks to all of you who make this beautiful free life possible here at Freedom Ranch. Mwah! Peace. We'll talk to you tomorrow.